So what do you do when you're flying along and you got a 30, 40 knot breeze on the back of your neck? It sounds like it's time to replace the door seals. Hello, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly. And today what we're gonna be doing is replacing something that is badly needed on my plane. It's the door seals. And as you see, these are what were in there. And when I was flying along, I'd always get these like 30, 40, maybe 50 knot breezes on the back of my neck and all around my feet. And it was kind of really bad. And then anytime I flew through a little rain, I would just, the airplane would leak and I'd get a little bath too. Anyway, so I'm using this opportunity while we're in annual right now to replace the door seals. And these were the old ones, which really looked like they were from Home Depot. Um, and uh, that's kind of bad. So I got to Aircraft Spruce and I bought the new door seal kit. Um, it was about 170 bucks for a door, 170 bucks each, and you needed two of them. And as you look, they are brand new and also they are made for the Cessna 177. So I am actually pretty excited to do this and get these in. Here are the directions and um, it could be simpler. So actually replacing the door seals is a really, really easy project to do. Uh, it just requires a lot of patience and a steady hand, two things I don't have, but <laughs> I'm getting there. Um, anyway, <clears throat> what, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna really make sure this surface is super, super clean. So what I did is I went ahead and acetoned it and then I had to scrape off all the, um, all the um, old adhesive. And then I, um, I just uh, removed the plastic uh, lining and all this is gonna get replaced later. So uh, unfortunately I can't do it now. But anyway, I got a nice, clean, smooth surface and then I did another coat of acetone just to get it as clean as possible. There is some old residue, but where the new uh, adhesive uh, is, it's nice and clean. And then you take the seal and what I'm gonna do is just kind of, you know, clip it on here and um, put it all in place. And this is how it goes on. It looks like it's backwards, but actually it forms a really, really tight seal uh, once it's on here. So um, I'm gonna just clip it all in place and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the adhesive and do it in one big circle. So they actually went on a whole lot easier than I thought. Uh, what you wanna do first is you wanna measure the whole thing out. So lay the whole door seal itself over the entire circumference of the door and you wanna make your seam all the way at the bottom. And I chose to put my seam a little bit toward the back of the bottom, just in case there was a little breeze there, it wouldn't be getting me, it would be getting somebody who's sitting in the back seat. Um, then once it's all laid out, then you just take your 3M adhesive and you just apply it on the door and apply it onto the actual um, door seal itself and then go all the way around it. And it actually, requires a steady hand and a little bit of patience, but it is very, very easy. Um, I used little clips to clip it to the door to hold it in place while the glue set and the cement actually dries pretty fast. So you do have to get into a rhythm and work fast to get this because once you lay that uh, door seal down onto the adhesive and it's got adhesive on the door frame and on the door seal itself, it will set pretty fast. So this whole process took me about maybe two and a half hours from start to finish. And it was relatively stress-free and very straightforward. Now what you wanna do when the door seals have been applied is you wanna leave the doors shut for 48 hours so they will form a perfect seal and a customized seal around your door frame. So to test this out, we shut one of the doors and then blew it with compressed air from the other side and check out the results. Oh my gosh, not a thing. So it really just doesn't get any easier than that. This is the final product. It is nice and smooth. It went on, I didn't have any problems at all. And I highly recommend this if you've got an older plane and you have drafts through the door. This is something that you can do in a weekend and it's really not gonna cost you that much money. And it does need an entry into the logbook, but the owner can do it themselves. So that is a good way to do a project and save yourself a little money without compromising safety. 
and make sure you make that log book entry. Go to Aircraft Spruce and go ahead and pick these up. And thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And if you are over 50, you know what you need to do. Get up in the air.